Hello and welcome to CMC Markets on Friday the 12th of January 2018 and a happy new year to all of you out there. Now pretty much it's been a case of normal service has been resumed. We saw a very positive end to 2017 and that has carried over into the first couple of weeks for 2018. Certainly in the case of US markets which have once again hit new record highs as well as the FTSE 100 which has also managed to post new record highs and is on course to close higher for the sixth week in succession. Um, and that's quite a significant run given the fact that the pound is also on course to make its highest weekly close since June 2016 and before the Brexit referendum against the dollar. So what am I going to be looking forward to for the upcoming week? Well, we've got a host of important economic data coming out. Not least, we have the latest UK inflation numbers for December, as well as retail sales for December. Now, over the past week or so, we've seen US inflation numbers and European EU CPI numbers come in slightly weaker than expected. And that is somewhat surprising, given the fact that we've seen crude oil prices rise at least 56% since the middle of the summer. So you sort of have to ask yourself, you know, where that, when um, these, this high inflationary pressure that we're seeing in particularly oil prices and gasoline prices is going to filter through to the headline number. We're not seeing any evidence of it thus far, um, certainly in the US and the European Union where core prices have dipped back below 1%. But certainly in the UK, we do have high levels of inflation and we did come in at 3.1% in the November numbers which prompted the Bank of England Governor Mark Carney to have to write to Philip Hammond, the UK Chancellor, to explain why the Bank of England had missed its inflation target. Now, expectations for December are for inflation to moderate slightly to around about 3%, but they're still going to be at fairly elevated levels. And I think there's a good chance that we could stay at these sorts of elevated levels for at least another couple of months. And the reason for that is because usually in January, we get very high um, inflation data come through in terms of travel fares, rail fares, bus travel and what have you and that's likely to keep uh, CPI in and around that 3% level. Um, we also have retail sales numbers, the latest retail updates that we've seen from UK retailers have been a bit of a mixed bag but certainly they've been nowhere near as bad as I think people had originally feared. Food retail in particular was very very strong and we've got UK retail sales for December coming out on Thursday. Um, now, expectations for UK retail sales are, I think, a little bit on the negative side. We saw a very big 1.2% rise in November, largely, I think, as a result of Black Friday. We could see, or we are predicting, economists are predicting a 0.8% decline. That does seem rather a lot, given the fact that Cyber Monday will come into the December numbers, as well as, I think, a significant amount of uh, pre-Christmas spending as well. And now general retail was a little bit on the weak side, but again, in general retail, there were some bright spots. So what we've seen over the, over the course of the past week is we've seen record highs for the FTSE, we've seen record highs for the US, and we've seen the euro dollar break out above the top side, the previous September highs at 120.95. Now that is significant, but we do have to be careful about suggesting that we're going to move significantly to the upside on euro dollar, because what we do have is a significant retracement level at around about 120, 170. So I think we could get a squeeze up to 120, 170. If we do break above that, then really that does open up the top side quite considerably towards around about 126. The reason those levels are important is because they are Fibonacci retracement levels of the, the decline from the 2014 highs to the lows that we saw at the beginning towards the beginning of 2017 at 103. So 12170, 12180, very big resistance level, but also um, a move above 122 could certainly open up 126. The pound has also broken back higher, it's broken above 135. What we haven't done as yet is broken above the September highs of around about 136.60. But here 
as in euro dollar we are approaching some very key resistance levels again 2014 peaks around about 170 192 172 pre scottish referendum um, and the lows at 11980 or 11950 depending on um, where you take the low from 38.2 percent retracement of that entire down move comes in around about 138 so at the moment we're on course to post our fourth successive weekly rise in the pound and post our highest weekly close since since in the middle of 2016 before the brexit referendum and that could well be significant going forward certainly i think there is a there is an expectation that we could push significantly higher towards around about 138.30 initially which was um, which was this these lows here in early 2016 and just above that around about 139 which is the 38.2 percent retracement level from the entire down move from 2014 to 2016. other things i will be keeping an eye out for this week will be the latest china q4 gdp numbers um, the trade numbers were a little bit disappointing for december we saw a little bit of a drop off in import data and i think that was largely as a result of a slowdown in china's oil consumption um, we've seen brent crude prices move above 70 dollars a barrel potential reversal may be in place here if we break below 69 dollars a barrel and close below 69 dollars a barrel this looks like a shooting star or a greystone doji so certainly keep an eye out for a little bit of weakness in oil prices and we've also got a very key central bank decision this coming week as well the bank of canada is due to make an announcement on its latest policy announcement now we saw the bank of canada raise rates twice last year shadowing the federal reserve we just saw a very decent positive employment report out of canada and as prompted speculation we could see another 25 basis point rate rise by the bank of canada over the course of over the course of the, on the next day or so now the one thing that could stay their hand with respect to a rate hike is um, the NAFTA talks and uncertainty over them but certainly I think the expectation is we will see a 25 basis point rate rise um, this coming week um, from the Bank of Canada it would be a bit of a surprise if we didn't given some of the decent economic data that we've seen out of the Canadian economy in the past few days resistance on dollar CAD is around about 126.70 support around about 123.80 so again those are the key levels there we've also got the us beige book the latest eu cpi numbers which again keep an eye on the core number and keep an eye on the headline number 1.4 percent is the headline number and 0.9 percent is the core number if they continue to remain on the slightly softer side then i think the hawkish rhetoric that we saw from the december minutes of the ecb meeting could be dialed back somewhat particularly if euro dollar is able to sustain this current move above the 120 level so that's it for this week don't forget to tune into the monday market webinar at 12:15. this is michael houston talking to you from cmc markets